Welcome. My name is Tom King, CTU Uni student. I'm attending summer training course. Here is first day of my training. In the training course, we will take many non-destructive tests. The first one is government test to find out the location of the enforcement. Next is the heart cell potential test. We need to check every point of the wall, the ability of every point. The third one is rebound hammer test. And this test is to test the compressive strength of the concrete. Finally is the input thermographic test. And this photo is showing the result of the wall. And there are another tutor teach us how to install an anchor bolt. And this photo is showing I am my classmate doing the installation. And this photo is showing the video of the anchor bolt installation. On the next day, we have former sections. In the former session, the tutor told us to do a task, which is write in the whiteboard. And then this is our finished product. Then we need to do another task, which is write in the graph, is the eye-shaped forward. Next, we have to cut the suitable size of our format, and then we install the format. This is the finished product of our group, day 3, which is the steel section. We have the chance to do the steel product. The tutor is teaching us how to use the tools, and the first tool teach us is the tools that can cut the thin metal easily. And this tool is tell us to do a hole. This machine is to cut the steel. And this photo is showing the tutor cutting the steel. After that, we need to even off the surface to prevent some sharp area. Then this machine is help us to cut the steel automatically. It's the process. There are two machines to do a hold on a steel pipe. This is the first one. And this photo is showing the second one to cut and do a hold. In the next section, the two is showing the a dry penetration test. This test is to track the quality of the steel rating. There are three bottles of materials. We can just follow the instruction and then finish the test. And finally, there the photo is showing the result of the steel rating, if the quality is good or not. Then we need to finish the analysis, which is the support of the table. This photo is a day four. It is a plastering and big work sections. There are different types of alignment of blades. There are famous for an angular form and its common type. Then the tutor tell us how to lay in the bricks. First, we should clean the table and then track the level of the table. Then we need to do the setting out to find the location of the bricks. And then we need to use a ruler to track the angle of the bricks is it in the correct directions. Then we can use a chalk box or a pencil to mark down the location of the bricks and record it. Then we can put the cement motor on the table and then put the bricks on the cement motor and lay in the bricks on the table one by one and track the level at the same time. This photo is showing how to cut a bricks in a suitable size and the tutor has demonstrated for us. This is the finished product of three level bricks. Here are different types of plastering on the wall. Then the other tutor has teach us 
how to do the custom rate. First, he do the cement motion, and then he lay the cement motion on the brick wall. After laying the cement motor on the wall, you need to even off the wall. After that, it is different types of tiles. In next sections, the tutor teach on how to lay the tiles. First, you need to put water on the tiles, and then mark the suitable size on the wall, and have the cement motor, and then lay it in the wall and even off the materials. Put the tile on the wall. And this photo is showing how to cut the tile in a suitable size. The last class is teach us how to put the four tiles. First we need to have a cement sand and then put it in onto the table one by one and track the level at the same time. Then you need to put some cement on the table and put the tiles on the top of them. And this is the product. Page 5 is the section of erecting force work. This graph is showing the maximum loading of a scaffold. The tutor has teach us how to wear a safety coat and how to hold it tight to a designated place. And this road is to connect it to our safety coat to prevent us to falling down onto the ground and get hurt. And then the photo is showing how to install a scaffold such as level fixing the component, install the working platform, and wear the safety coat. And this is the finished product. Finally, it's the last two days we have to do in the workshop, which is concrete sections. We are divided into four groups, and each group has different ways to mixing the concrete. First, we have to measure the, the dimension of the concrete volume because we need to find the amount of concrete we use. After calculation, we need to take the amount of materials we use and we use the default to weight it. And this photo is showing the four, con four groups concrete with different ratios and compare with those. Then the curving of concrete is taken to the compression testing machine and test the concrete strength for each group, compare them. And then we have to finish another tasks, which is use the day free formwork and then pour the concrete into the formwork. And this is the finishes. And before we pour the concrete, we need to take the materials from the workshop and we need to calculate all the volume and all the materials. If in the next section, we need to do the reinforcement fixing. And in the lessons, the, te the tutor teach us many skills. And first, we need to calculate the material we need and the size. And then take the material from the first shop. And then we need to bend the reinforcement first. And then it is a rectangular shape is difficult for us and the material we need is put on the ground and then we take the amount we need and do the reinforcement fixing and this photo is showing the concrete cover on the floor reinforcement fixing and the next photo is showing the left length and the fixing details is in the legs and then this photo is showing the finishes product which is made by our group it is the end of my presentation. Thank you all of you for your attention.